Okay, I just took apart this Kohler Mistos uh, faucet, kitchen faucet, and took a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this all apart. Um, unfortunately, the um, when you look up the specifications and the exploded diagram and all that stuff, it doesn't quite still show you how it all comes apart. So anyway, I got it all apart. And so I'm going to go in reverse here. This is just a plastic collar on here. I took it off and, uh, you know, just cleaned it up. Um, there is a, you can see there is a um, O-ring right here. It's still good, so I took it off and cleaned it. Wiped up all the gook and everything. This part's plastic here, believe it or not, all the way up to here. And so uh, one of my concerns was, um, and I'm not going to bother cleaning that out, it's all smooth as can be. But one of my concerns was when I was taking this apart was, um, as I was trying to get this part, get this part here unscrewed, I was afraid it was that it had um, sealed itself. So it will come apart. Okay, so um, I took this part here and I kind of cleaned it all out. I used a uh, Dremel tool with a with a fine uh, wire wheel brush just to get most of the, the deposits off. Um, so I got that and I also have here um, it's from Ace. I got it years ago. Silicone grease waterproof. Okay so um, I had bought a kit from Kohler, which includes all these parts here. Um, let's see, is this the right side? Yeah, so you can actually order order this section if you want. Um, on the original, I had bummed up the, uh, the little cap at the top, trying to get it off, because it seems like 99.9% .9 of all these things unscrew. This one does not, it pops off. Finally found some obscure video that showed me that. So anyway, I put a little bit of silicone grease on both ends of it here. And I'm going to drop this down over top. And that goes in like that. Okay. Uh, and obviously, underneath, I uh, unscrewed the, um, uh, yeah, the pull. The, uh, I'm at a loss of words. The faucet pull here. Uh, so I could get that out of the hole so I could lift this sleeve off. So now, um, I'm going to put, uh, there's two rings that kind of come with that kit. So anyway, this is one of the rings here, and I'm going to set that into here like that. And I'm going to have to take all my fingers and kind of push that down and shove it down around the sides. So I'm going to pause the tape. Tape, what am I talking about tape? It's digital now. Okay, I got that O-ring put in there. And of course it had a little bit of silicone grease on it too. This goes in, you can see there's a little indents right there and there's the indents, you know, back here and on the front. So this can go here like that, push that down. And then this turns nice and smooth now. That was one of the issues originally is it just really was getting hard to, to uh, turn everything. So then um, you take, take this, and we'll put it in there. You can see it's got uh, that does, that pattern on it there. The This one here goes to the back. And you can see it matches up that way. So we drop that in. There we go. Just barely clicks in like that. Now, I take this part. And this has the um, the flat spots on it on both sides. And then we'll start putting that in there. I went ahead and just put a little bit of silicone grease on this too, because I don't want to deal with it again seven or eight years from now. Just kind of hand tighten that. And now I can take this and just tighten it just a little bit. You can kind of feel it when it's, there we go, that's about it right there. I don't want to crank down on it too much. And then they have this, this ring here 
me see if I can hold it up sideways here. So this ring, the it's a little thinner. Let me see if I can get it there. Come on, focus. It's a little thinner on the top ring than it is on the bottom ring. And that's what the instructions talk about over here. Let's see, install the valve. Yeah, there it is. there's the picture of it right there. They've got a picture right there. Thin side up, thick side to the bottom. You would have thought they would have made it a little more obvious. I mean, um, gosh, uh, I'm trying to, I think I remember looking at it real close and I figured out that, yes, the top one, it's beveled down just a little more, I think is what it is. So that goes on to here. Screw that on. Okay, and then I'm going to take the uh, channel locks and just, I mean, it's just snug. It's got the two flat spots on it there, too. So now we can actually do the, um, the cap with the ring. Uh, so I've got my got my new cap and I've got the new ring so I'm going to pause this just for a second because I'm going to put a little silicone grease on that ring and then um, make sure I know what I'm doing hang on okay so I put the o-ring on there just a light touch of the silicone grease again and then this goes in this direction with the part that's cut out lower in the back. So that part, that part goes to the back. So now I'll put this up here and kind of, it's got those two notches. There's a, there's a notch there, a notch there. So they're going to go into here. So I'm going to put that on here like that. And then I should be able to just push that down. So, yeah, I may have to use two hands, so hang on. Okay, so I got it on. Um, just to give you a heads up, so you don't bum, the, you know, bum out the uh, the other one. Let me show you the marks I got on this on this here. This was when I was first trying to take it off. Let me see if I can get it in the light here. You can see I've got little little uh, marks from where I was trying to find a tool to get underneath there finally i discovered that um you need to have something like this you know real thin stiff hard plastic this is actually a kit for um uh it's part of like a um, car stereo uh, type of repair kit you know where it's got all these fancy little plastics but one way or another you want something that's plastic you know i had this around this is actually a label scraper um, but you can, you have to get up underneath of this and then start prying it. And I had to take two of them to, because it was so gunked up. I had to put one here while well, I took another one, went from the other side, kind of spun around and then eventually it popped off. Um, it's probably, if you're going to go through all that trouble, it's probably worth buying the uh, kit from, um, from Kohler uh, for this. Uh, it was about $62, I think. And this is, um, May of... 2022 so as we all know prices are going up okay so now what i'm going to do is is go ahead and put the hose sprayer that's the word i was looking for that earlier take the hose sprayer put that down in through here and then uh, connect it underneath by the way underneath the um let me get the flashlight here the way i did that was that uh, that white tube right there that one uh, spins, spins around. So that's all I did is I just held held the, the white piece of plastic and then I just spun the, you know, turned, turned the hose um, underneath. I just turned it, just kept spinning around and it comes off pretty easy. Um, by the way, while I had this off, I went ahead and took a Dremel tool with a really fine, um, sandpaper uh, barrel it's like a barrel sandpaper uh, attachment and put it on there and then just reamed it out just a little bit for some reason over the years this plastic has expanded 
And so when you go to push the when you go to push this down in there, this part is just really hard to get back in there. So um, anyway, hope this helps, and I'm going to save this video for myself so I don't lose my marbles next time trying to figure out how to take this thing apart. Forgot to mention that um, the handle on the back it is a set screw. Um, it's a uh, hex, and it's three thirty seconds. Yes, it's not metric. <laughs> believe can you believe that? So it's three thirty seconds, and you just put this right on top like that, and then take the three thirty seconds, find the screw, and tighten it up. Hold the handle. There we go. That's good. There's no cap. <laughs> Everything else in the world has a cap, but this one does not have a cap. There we go. Now I'm going to put the um, hose sprayer back in. All right. Take care.